All right, here's the latest iteration of this that I've been working on. Uh, as we see, we've changed out the LED, so now it's uh, RGB LED, so it actually has uh, four different spots. So there's going to be uh, one positive, shared positive coming in, and three negatives on here. And that's just, uh, you know, full color LED which has, as you can see, depending on the color, it has different current and also different Mac uh, volt requirements, all of which are above the GPIO 16 milliamp problem. So we kind of had to come up with a different solution on this one. Um, what I ended up doing here is we still have our GPIOs, and of course, we've now added three instead of just one. And the colors represent what they're doing. So you got the red, blue, and a green. Um, but you fall over here, and each one of, then connects up to uh, a different set of resistors. And those were just trying to get them correct since I didn't have the perfect ones. So I have them in series to get them to where they need to be. Uh, from there, the GPIO pin each goes to uh, a transistor. The base of a transistor so you see three transistors back there and so the middle pin is the one that's coming from gpio this next one is the one that's coming from the led negative and then we got the last one which is then completing the circuit at the negative and so what we have going on is when the gpio pin uh, goes positive, it's then closing the circuit on a transistor right here, which then is allowing the LEDs to feed off of our 5 volts that's coming off the VCC. So, in good fashion then, uh, we need to update the Android app a little bit, so we ran into an issue with the host names, so now we can enter host names, but then we also have three different colors, so you have your Red on, blue on, green on, off, off, off. So, you know, each one, you know, green, red on, blue on, and green on. Now, a nice thing also is that you can have multiple ones on. So you, you have red and green, which now is giving you yellow. Add blue, white. We can start getting purple colors in here. Saying, and then be able to turn them off. And all that essentially is just being done again with the updated REST service, so. Here we go, the web service was updated. It's running on Python, which is also running on the Pi.